All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is day seven of review week, the final day, the finale. I know it's sad. It's sad. We're all going to miss it. But today is actually going to be a pretty small review because we only have one thing to unbox. As you can see here, it is the Shamrock Freddy action figure. I actually found this at Walmart the other day. Um, and I was like, you know what? This is brand new. I might as well do an episode of Review Week on this. Now, I wanted the last day of the week to be something special. I didn't want it to just be another action figure unboxing. But since this guy is brand new and there's not really many videos on him, I figured today would be a good day to open something brand new that not many people have uh, that I didn't even mean to find. I just, it was there and I was like, all right, I'll get it. And also I got the second one just so I could keep one in box because I really like his box art um, and he looks cool uh, hanging on the wall. So we're going to go ahead and open him up. So I guess we'll just get into the unboxing right away. Like I said, it is Shamrock Freddy, the Walmart exclusive figure from the brand new FNAF AR uh, merch wave. Now, I want to say that it is pretty cool that we are getting merch of FNAF AR. I am personally a big fan of the skins in FNAF AR. I know a lot of people hate them. A lot of people dislike that they release skins instead of new or instead of old characters. But you know what? I think skins are actually cooler. Jacko Bonnie and Jacko Chica are skins too, and people love them, so why can't we like this? I think it's totally cool and reasonable to have holiday versions of characters. My personal favorite FNAF AR skin is Red Riding Chica. Uh, I think that's her name. It's the Little Red Riding Hood Chica. I just love the design. It's really creepy and also kind of cute. Uh, and so I hope she gets merch one day because it is my personal favorite uh, FNAF AR skin. But we're not talking about her today. We're talking about Shamrock Freddy. Now let's look at the box in more detail because we don't usually look at the boxes too much. But since this is just one figure today, um, let's look at the box. So he has the clovers in the background. Uh, most of them are four leaf, but there's a few three leaf clovers. Um, there's also green and black tiles in the background. Guys, I am a huge fan of how they do these boxes. Um, I think the Easter boxes look really cool too. The FNAF 6 figures that we opened look really awesome on the boxes as well. And so they always put so much detail into these. Uh, also, uh, the little pot of gold is cool with the rainbow. I love that. And then on the back, it is just uh, Shamrock Freddy. It doesn't show the other figures in the wave, which is a little weird but I think it's trying to say that this is just a standalone figure because the other figures were not at Walmart. It was only him. I could not find the other ones. Unfortunately, I was hoping to open those for review week, but sadly it did not happen. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just get him open. Ugh. Ugh. I actually cut my nails, so I kind of regret that. It's kind of hard to open these now. Ow, ow, jeez. Hi, how are you? Um. Um, uh, what, uh, ball, ball, ball bob, what, how, how did you get there, where, where did you come from, I, guys, I didn't put him there, I didn't put him there, I was really just about to open this figure, seriously, I was just about to open this and, what, what do you want from me, what do you want from me, why are you here, why are you staring at me? Go away. That's um a little odd. I wasn't really planning for that. I was just this was supposed to just be a normal unboxing. Uh, whatever, you know. Let's just keep going. So we got one side open there. Let's get the other one. Jesus is actually it actually hurts, <laughs> guys. I have, my nails are so short now. I can't get this open. Hold on. I need to grab a scissors. Okay, so I got my scissors now, so we're gonna have to actually just cut into this, which is a little unfortunate, but we bought two for a reason, so that I could save one box, so it's okay. Uh, um, guys, what, what, guys, it, okay, seriously, this isn't funny. Why are you here? Okay, so there's now three ball bobs. They're all back. 
and I don't know how they got here. Is that a note? What is that? Is that a note? Is that... What is this? For you. They're coming. What? Wait, what? What does that mean? Behind you? Wait. Wait, what? Okay, what? There's... There's nothing behind me, what? Okay, wait. What else did this say? They're coming. Behind you. Go back. Go back. Ah! Oh my Jesus! Whoa! Oh my god. What the actual... No. Why? Why me? Why does my life have to suck? Wait. No. Freddy! Oh, no. Freddy. What did they do to you? They... They killed him! Dear god. They're all... Spongebobs! Here I was, thinking I was free of them. I thought I was rid of the Bob curse. I thought maybe the Bob gods had finally lifted this dreaded torment from these videos. But no. It was the calm before the storm. The ultimate Bob setup. And now Freddy's dead. And it's all my fault. I never should have made fun of the Spongebobs. They got their revenge on this poor, innocent bear. Well, the least I can do is review him. It's what he would have wanted. Okay, so, uh, here's the Shamrock Freddy figure. I... I wanted to show you guys me unboxing him, uh... But, well, we, uh... We know what happened. <clears throat> anyway, so... This is the Shamrock Freddy figure. Um, he looks... Okay. Uh... I think everyone knows by now that the brown spots are a lot more visible than they are in the promo art. If I grab the box here that the SpongeBob's destroyed, he has very faint brown markings on his face, but the actual figure is covered in these brown spots. If you don't know, it's supposed to look like a normal Freddy that has been covered in green paint, but the paint is starting to peel off and he has little pieces of his normal skin tone peeking through. Um, but it definitely looks really weird. It looks really dirty. I just think it's a little, a uh, little too much brown, but I don't think it makes the figure bad. I actually really like him. Uh, it looks cool. And this, uh, the necklace around his neck, I don't know what you call that, just like pearls or beads. I don't know if that's like a St. Patrick's Day thing. I'm sorry. Um, but it looks cool and it's actually like 3D. It's not just like printed on him. So this is a brand new uh, mold for Freddy. The hat is different too. Are you serious? It's like nine o'clock at night and there is a plane outside. I can hear a plane. I thought, you know, I'll film this at night so that there's no cars, no buses, but there's a plane. Okay, anyway, so back to Freddy. So, posability is really good. Um, he feels a lot better than the Wave 1 Freddy does. His head feels like it can move a lot more. Um, the joints, everything is nice. The hands feel like they can move a little more than just back and forth. They can actually move up and down. Uh, I think they're actually probably a ball joint under there, which is pretty cool. Um, this arm keeps falling off. Now, he does come with the microphone, which is just a completely gold microphone. Um, and I have no doubt that he is not going to be able to hold this properly. Um, but we're going to try to get it in his hand anyway. So, let's really push. Push, Freddy. Push. Okay. So, that is what we've got. Um, oh, Oh, check it out, guys. You're actually able to push his microphone into his hand properly. What do you know? That is something I really can respect about this figure. Uh, already, this makes him better than Wave 1 Freddy in Golden Freddy. So, yeah, that is really, really nice. I am a huge fan of that. So... Shamrock Freddy review. Let me, since uh, there's only one thing in this video, I guess I'll just rate him out of 10 because I can't really compare him to other figures. I'm going to give Shamrock Freddy 
a 10 out of 10. I know, people probably think that's a bad score because the poop on his face and the overall kind of ugly colors, but you know what? I don't think that it's a bad figure. I really like that he can hold his microphone. The posability and everything is really nice, and being that I'm just a really big FNAF AR fan, uh, I'm really happy to have this guy. So yeah, great figure. I really recommend getting him. Uh, when I was at Walmart, I saw like 50 of this guy. Here's a picture I took. It's insane. There were so many of them. Uh, so that's why I picked up two, because I was like, you know, there were literally 50 of them. I don't even know if they're all gonna sell. So you might as well go pick him up. He's probably at your Walmart with how many I found. There's probably a bunch at your Walmart too. So I say go get him, 10 out of 10 figure if you ask me, um, but that's just my humble opinion. And I'm sure lots of people are gonna comment their humble opinions about how they don't like this figure and how I'm wrong, but you know what, that's okay. That's why it's called an opinion. So, that's the last episode of Review Week. We actually made it through seven whole days of daily videos. We technically made it through eight days because the announcement for daily videos came out the first day. Uh, it came out right before the first day. Uh, so technically it's been eight videos in a row. And if you want to be even more specific, the little secret tag end uh, video that was at the end of the announcement video was also a video. So technically we've got nine videos in a row, but I'm just gonna say it's seven because it's seven real videos of content. All right, guys, and there's the final setup of everything we opened slash reviewed this week in review week. We got day one, the FNAF 1 action figures. We got day two, the Sanchi plushies. We got day three, the Dreadbear merch. We got day four, the horrible, horrible mystery mini unboxing. We got day five, the tiny little pine size heroes. We got day six, the Pizzeria Simulator action figures. And of course, day seven, Shamrock Freddy. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the first daily upload week of 2022. Um, sadly, it has come to an end with today, but fear not, it is not the end of daily uploads for this year. It is just the end for now. Uh, there will not be another video tomorrow, but there will be more daily uploads in the future. Um, the plan is that I'm gonna take two weeks, maybe three weeks between them, um, so I can work on the final battle as well as prepare for the next week, uh, because I like to have at least three or four of the videos done before I start the week, just so I am committed and, uh, I don't have as much of a workload during the actual week. Um, yeah, so this is the end of review week. It has been a fun ride, um, the videos aren't the most popular in the world, um, but that's probably just because I haven't uploaded in a while, so I didn't really expect these videos to pop off, but I just hope the people who watch them enjoyed, and hope you guys come back for the next daily upload week. So, now is the time where we talk a little bit about the future. So, let's just discuss the next daily upload week. Um, I was originally going to make these a surprise every time, uh, and not spoil the theme, um, but I decided for this next one, I will spoil it because, well, you're not exactly gonna know what it is still. So the theme for daily upload week number two is going to be mystery week. Mystery week is the next daily upload week. Now you're probably wondering, what does that mean? Well, daily upload week, mystery week is a little bit um, more of a normal upload schedule. Uh, so it won't be one consistent theme. It will actually be seven different unrelated videos. So day one could be a review, just like review week. But day one could also be a meme movie. Day one could also be a DIY. It could even be a gameplay. It could be a plush video. So Mystery Week is seven unrelated random videos. Now obviously they will all be related to the channel, um, but 
it is going to be a mystery and you're not going to know each day what could be uploaded. It could be something amazing or it could be Slimer Wheelbarrow 2. We'll just have to wait and see. I decided to do Mystery Week as the next one because I kind of realized doing Review Week that it gets kind of repetitive from day to day, uh, which is okay. Um, but I think that it would benefit me and you guys if every single day there was something completely different to watch instead of seven of the same thing in the row. Still, I'm glad I did review week. This was mostly an experiment to see how this format holds up. And right now, I think it's a good format, but it needs a little bit more variety. I think seven of the exact same thing in a row is a little bit much. Um, but it might be a lot better when we get to, like, FNAF 6 plush week, or when we get to meme movie week, or whatever else I may come up with. And one more thing, I have another project that I'm working on and planning for the channel. Um, it is not related to the daily upload schedule, and it's also not related to the final battle. Um, it is a third project that I have an idea for. Um, it's still related to the channel content like FNAF and um, plush videos and stuff, but it's uh, it's not what you'd expect. So hopefully that will be coming out soon uh, or at least an announcement for it because it's something I've wanted to do for a while. Um, but I never really found the right time, but I think right now might be a good time to do it. So I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll just have to see when the time comes, but I think a lot of people might enjoy it. Anyway, that is review week. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Froki and I will see you guys next time.